Hello everyone, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a CPS counter. Let's get started. So, what you're going to want to do first is when green flag clicked, you're going to want to wait until mouse down. Okay? And then, as soon as that goes up, as soon as, so, as, soon as you press, it's going to want to change and then you're going to make a variable clicks. So you're going to want to change clicks by one, and at the beginning, set clicks to zero. And then, above this, you're going to want to reset timer because as soon as it, as soon as you click, it's going to start the timer for when it tracks your clicks. So now, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and add a repeat until repeat until timer is more than three. And what that does is it's going, so three seconds, you're gonna be clicking as much as you can, and then it will track it during that three and then average it out. So to do that, we're going to want to add a wait until mouse down, like we had before, and then Add a change clicks by one, because that's you click down, and then it's going to change the amount of times you've clicked by one. And then you're going to wait, want to wait until not mouse down. So as soon as you release, then you're able to click again. So you can't just hold it down and get tons of clicks without having to actually click. And then, finally, what you want to do is once the timer is more than three, you'll want to go ahead and have it so that it is able to calculate the amount of clicks per second you had. So go ahead and make a variable, CPS, which stands for clicks per second, if you didn't know. And then you're going to want to have it set clicks per second to clicks divided by three. And what that does is so you're clicking as much as you can for three whole seconds, and then that what that does is once it happens, it then takes, okay, so you clicked that many times in three seconds, but then we're dividing it by three so that that makes it just how many you clicked per second on average. So go ahead and add clicks there, and then boom, you have it. So if you go ahead and test it, go ahead and get in full screen, click as much as you can. So that's my clicks per second. So the challenge for today is make this project and then in the description there's a link for a Google form and then you're going to fill out the Google form enter your clicks per second and if you're able to get more than me you'll be able to enter a drawing for a free scratch follow so link down below I'll see you next time mm -hmm.